Hello YouTube. Farmer Son Prepping here. So I thought today I would try to give a little overview, a beginner's guide to bass fishing. Uh some people in the chat seem to be interested in that. So uh and also this may help my buddy uh Penny Pension Prepper. Uh, who has recently moved to Alabama from trout fishing country. Uh, so he's going to have to... He's moved from the trout fishing capital of the world to the bass fishing capital of the world, so this may help him out as well. Uh, the brand of baits is all up to you. I like the company Zoom. They make good baits. They're not the most expensive on the shelf. Another reason why I like them. Two, two schools of theory here. The type of water that you're fishing in will most of the time dictate what you're trying to imitate. So I fish mostly ponds. I do get to fish in the river every now and then. So I do have some river stuff in my tackle bag here as well. But for the most part, when you're fishing in ponds, creeks, uh, small bodies of water, even lakes, uh, you, you want to imitate natural colors you want to imitate the crawdad for example or the crawfish so you want to go with natural colors green pumpkin is one i like uh watermelon seed red is another one that i like now these are most of these are lizards lizards by the bass fishing community for the most part, we'll tell you are springtime baits, but uh, I catch quite a few fish on these in the summertime as well. So, uh, worms, watermelon seed, uh, green pumpkin, uh, and this is mostly for like murky water, muddy water kind of stuff. Now, there is a time for some color. If you're fishing a, a pond that's really clear water, you might, might want to go with some uh, some moccasin blue. You got the blue flake in here. Uh, June bug is another good color for that. That's an older pack, so it's probably harder for y'all to see. But uh, uh, this is actually a June bug. That's what that looks like. So uh, so uh, now in for the river, uh, if you're fishing in the rivers, what you're trying to imitate is shad or uh, sometimes even shiners maybe so flukes are good uh, they look like little minnows they look like little shad in the water uh, different colors uh, again in the river you're trying to imitate shad for the most part or really what you're trying to imitate is injured shad so on your retrieve you're trying to make stuff look like it's injured and that triggers an instinct in a bass. Hey, that thing's dying anyway. I'm going to go have a quick meal. Uh, rigging. 90% of the time, I do Texas rig. Uh, and uh, you can search the YouTube query for Texas rig. It'll show you how to rig that. Uh, and uh, when I can't catch fish on Texas rig. I will go Carolina rig. That's a different type of rig. Uh, again, you can search those in the YouTube queue. Uh, baits. Uh, we're keeping it simple, stupid. Okay. For beginners, uh, rooster tails are really good. You can catch bass or brim off of these. Uh, for a reel, for a beginner, I would start out with a spin cast. That's like a Zipco 33 type. Or a spinner, spinning, spinning reel. Spin cast and spinning reel. Two different types of reels there. Uh, I use bait casters. That's why I like these 1 6 ounce. Uh, they cast better on a bait caster. Bait caster is something you really have to learn to use. It's an experienced thing. There's nothing I can tell you that will instantly make you good at casting a bait caster uh so rooster tails are good uh again same concept in the in the rivers you want something silvery flash You're trying to you know replicate a, a minnow uh let's see 
and in the, the pond water you want to replicate something like a natural color uh, these lipless crankbaits uh, commonly referred to as rattle traps they have rattlers in them uh, bass fishermen call this the alarm clock of the bass fishing world this will wake fish up in cold water a lot of times uh, I have caught many a fish off of these uh, they make them you see this has got red on it again uh, trying to mimic an injured bait fish or something uh, so I like the chrome blue it doesn't have to have this fish print on the side but the uh, chrome on the bottom blue on the top really good color caught a lot of fish off of that uh, spinner baits just a simple spinner bait with a trailer uh, a good combination of gold and silver blades uh, these are good when the sun's out fish them in shallow waters uh, the flash of those blades spinning will attract bass so uh, as far as terminal tackle goes you will need some uh, some bass hooks bass hooks uh, pull one out here and show you well that's not a good example here let me get a different one here sorry y'all struggling get out of there this is a good example of a bass hook you'll notice it's got a notch up there on the top for uh, for when you put the, the worm on this will uh, this will it's hard to explain let me see if I can do this one-handed your worm is going to be straight right here from head to toe your worm will be right here the hook will be out the uh, the bow of the hook will be out to the side uh, I could rig one for you real quick I have to set the phone down yeah let's see maybe I can uh, prop it up and show you here I doubt it uh, take your hook and your worm you want to go straight in the top with the hook the barb of the hook run it up on there just like you're doing live bait to a point about a quarter of the way then come out down here with your barb and through from the side well I screwed that up do the I haven't been fishing in a while, y'all. Again, like this. Just enough for your head to come out the side right there. And when you've got the, uh, this is the Texas rig. When you've got it rigged, this is what it'll look like. Let me set this up here so I can show y'all. Give me a phone. This is what it'll look like when it's rigged properly. This is a Texas rig. You would put a what they call this a bullet weight in front of this so you would tie that to your fishing line but before you did that you would put a bullet weight in front of that this is what your texas rig really looks like uh so uh some bullet weights of different sizes and weights uh for a carolina rigs you're going to need uh, swivels and stuff uh a lot of these split shots are just for uh panfish you know brim crappie uh this is kind of a mixed bag of tackle here. Beads are good for Carolina rigs. You'll need some beads for Carolina rigs as well. Uh, so I would say you need some, as a beginner, you need some three alt bass hooks. Gamagatsu is the brand I use, just whatever. Uh, but uh, True Turn, whatever, uh, Eagle Claw, doesn't matter what the brand, but you want a hook that looks like that, okay? So three and four alt, I would get a pack of three alts and four alts, that'll get you started. Uh, and uh, some small bullet weights. They call them bullet weights because they're shaped like bullets. But they have holes through the center. I know that's hard for y'all to see. There you go. So they have holes through the center. They slide up and down on the line. Uh... Without getting any more complicated, I believe that's a good beginner's lesson in bass fishing. Uh, again, a beginner's pole, you're probably going to need a spin cast. 
Uh, it's the easiest type to learn. You press the button, you hold the button, and you, you cast it. You, you know, you let off as you cast. Uh, some people like spinning reels. That's a whole different deal. Uh, but whatever you choose is your deal. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Hope this helps some of you. Uh, this is FSP. And we're checking out.